ISC is an information science campaign. It's one of the four functional ST campaigns within ARL, providing a capability for the soldier. It's to communicate data and relevant information. This idea of how do you combine information from sensors and technology, bits and pieces of information, and you merge them together and you get a better answer than you had before, I think is incredibly powerful. And I think it will provide the soldier this, this overmatch capability. I think what's unique about our research here at ARL is the ability to interact with some of the top researchers in the world, in academia and industry, and I think ARL Open Campus uh, and Extended Campus allow us to do that. What we have here in the NSRL is uh, unique to the Army today, it's sort of an Amazon Web Services type of approach to running experiments where researchers set up the parameters of their experiment and then say go, and they do this all through a web interface. Well, I work on a program called the Distributed Analytics and Information Science International Technology Alliance. We work collaboratively with our UK partner and with a consortium of US and UK industry and academic organizations. The program uh, conducts fundamental research to enable distributed analytics and information science in future coalition operations. We do a lot of unique work at this lab, providing sensors and sensor technology that detect people and vehicles. We do distributed processing so that we can collect data around the battlefield and display that information in common points so that people can make intelligent informed decisions in real time. We're trying to develop autonomous robotic teammates. So we want the robots instead of to be tools that they currently are, where they're teleoperated and uh, just an extension of the soldier. We want them to truly be teammates for the soldier. Something that's critical to all these roles is the ability for the systems to make intelligence decisions, taking into account sensing information, information about the environment, information about what the humans are doing, and then be able to synthesize that and use that to make decisions about what's the most appropriate actions for the robot to take at any given time. The research that goes on in our branch focuses specifically on human information interaction. We sit in that gap between the information and the person. We connect two other campaigns, the human sciences campaign and the computational sciences campaign with our work. So the solutions that we provide for the Army are easily extensible to our colleagues and the other warfighters in the other services. In the Battlefield Environment Division, we conduct basic and applied research on atmospheric impacts on Army capabilities and Army operations. Our goal is to provide local awareness for these kinds of systems and for our soldiers. My branch does basic research into cybersecurity. Networks on the tactical edge are a little bit different than they are on the enterprise level. Where we fit in is once there's a physical way to communicate, how do we protect the information that's going across the network? How do we know that what we're receiving is what we sent and we're not being attacked by an adversary? What we want to do is only engage the information that's relevant to the human and find ways to have the soldier interact with the data and information seamlessly so he can make informed decisions. And how to get the information sent securely, quickly, to the right place at the right time.